Hey yo, run it up, 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 run Being in the position that we're at right now, knowing that we'll we'll have some playoff games to to play for, it makes it a little less emotional. Being there, two, there's two games left in the regular season, but I don't know what I'm going to do with my life once it's over. So it's all football right now. It's anyways. all football. Well, even though you weren't born in Bozeman, Bozeman has been home for you for a while. You got to go to Bozeman High School while your dad was the head coach at Montana State during that time. What were those couple of first years like when you were playing you know, down the road while your dad was coaching at Montana State? Yeah, it was really cool. Like, I'd play on Friday nights and I'd get a nice rest and wake up and go to the game on Saturday. It was a lot of fun. I mean, thinking about like how the game day atmosphere has changed here is just incredible. Like, when we moved here, you know, there wouldn't be a sold out game unless it was Cat Grizz. And now, this year, every game's sold out. So it's, it's awesome. What's it like being a part of that to see that, you know, transgression of maybe there wasn't that much hype around Bobcat football, but your dad had definitely had a really big part of making Montana State what it is right now. And then you get to kind of continue that legacy, even though he's necessarily not here. I, I, I think it's awesome. I like just being able to be a part of a program that's kind of came from the bottom and worked its way up. Um, it, it's special and it's something not a lot of people get to be a part of. Well, talking about your high school days at Bozeman High, you were only there for two football seasons, but your senior year, first team All-State, you got the interest of some frontier football programs, but you decided to become a preferred walk-on at Montana State. Was that because you wanted to play for your dad, or was there another reason why you decided you wanted to play for Montana State? I'd say, yeah, I'd say my dad had a pretty big impact on why I came here. Um, it, it's just not, a, not an opportunity that a lot of people get to have. You know, I, you grow up watching him all the time, coaching people, and you know he's your dad at home, but he's a hundred people's dads when he's at work. Well, getting to play for your dad at the Division One level is, you know, once in a lifetime opportunity. But sometimes being a coach's son can be a bit more of a burden rather than an advantage, depending on you know what other players think or you know what was that experience like for you? Did it ever feel that way? Or you know, I, I did read somewhere that you and your dad did have some one-on-one -on -one conversations before you actually started playing for Montana State. I think about it like v Jake Vegan this year kind of was me five years ago or four years ago, whenever it was. And I think that you kind of get accepted a little earlier, but really you don't earn respect from the team. Nobody does until a year or a year and a half in when you really start to you know show your worth, start working hard. Well, that kind of went into my next question. Did it ever feel like you had something to prove being a coach's son, showing, you know what, I, I do belong in a Bobcat uniform? Absolutely. I mean, and it's not like any, I'm different than anyone else. Everybody that comes here has something to prove to themselves, to their family, to their peers, to their community. And um, yeah, I, I'm no different. Well, I'd say you absolutely earned that respect at the beginning of this football season. You had a very cool surprise that maybe you weren't necessarily expecting at the end of football practice. You found out that you are a full scholarship athlete. What was that moment like? You know, I was st standing there on the sidelines and that whole team was just cheering for you and Tommy at that moment. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, going into college, you know, I, I wanted to earn a scholarship. You know, obviously, I, I was a walk-on coming in and it was a long road. I, I, I mean, it was, it was a four years that I didn't have one, but it felt, it felt great to finally earn that. What's the biggest thing you learned about yourself, you know, going from walk-on to scholarship? Because like you said, it was a long road, but in this final drive with Montana State, you can finally say you, that you earned this. Anyone, if you just keep working hard, you're going to get what you deserve eventually. In the short run, you get what you get. In the long run, you get what you deserve. Well, you know, this final season is winding down. There's only a couple, you know, guaranteed games left. And obviously, you know, a lot of people know who Jory Choate is with the last name that you have. But when it's all said and done, what do you really want people to remember about who Jory Choate is as a player? Yeah, I just, I just hope people think of me as someone who worked hard, gave everything he could for the team. Not, not a selfish guy at all. Just, just wants the best for others. 
Well, let's talk about life after football. I know you love Montana. You might not necessarily want to live in Bozeman once Bobcat football is up, but what's next for you once it's time to hang up the cleats? It's going to be a lot of fishing and um, a lot of hiking. As far as work, I have no idea, but um, we'll, we'll tackle that when it comes. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to kind of experience what Montana really has, has to offer. And I know you're wearing the 683 hat, the Dillon Montana. Is that hopefully home for you next? We'll see. We'll see. I, yeah, I, I don't mind it. And then what's the you know last thing that you just want to say to Bobcat fans after crazy to think that those five years went by really fast, but it's, it's winded down quick? Yeah, just thank you. It's been awesome. Um, just seeing, seeing how the program and the fan base has grown and, and supported each other. And it's just been, it's been special. Well, it's been awesome watching your story, and hopefully there's a lot more fishing in the future once it all wraps up for you. So thank you. Thank you.